Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright everybody, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We're wrapping up the investigation today, Day 2 Investigation from Rise from the Ashes. As we saw last time, we were literally about to enter the evidence room, and then I'm like, we should stop. Yeah, that was great. Alright, let's enter. Let's see. February 23rd, evidence room, sector 3. Sector 3, okay. It's quiet. The investigation must be over here. So this is the evidence room? It really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. N nice try, Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. Hey, Gumshoe. Eek! Whoa! At least he's not dead. Maybe we are, though. No? Okay, we're good. S sorry, I thought you were a ghost! I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. So, is it true what I heard? Righto, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow 50 bucks, I'd give them 50 bucks, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's content desire. Knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So, Chief of Police Gant will loan anyone 50 bucks? Even me? <laughs> oh, so that's what you were talking about. Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Weren't you off? Just for today? Boss for a day? But guess what? You got permission from the Chief, so now you're boss for a day! Gee, thanks. First of all, you'll want to have this. Evidence room floor plans added to the court record. Let's okay. check those out. <laughs> that was amazing. I think more stuff gets filled in later. Oh, okay. Do, 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 judge for a day. So, Detective Gumshoe, you're boss for the day? That's right! It's an honor! After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But, if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? They're using our findings from yesterday's investigation to prepare for the trial. In other words, Detective Gumshoe got kicked out of the investigation again. I'm adamant, though! I'm going to take control and put this case to rest! And in my own evidence locker, pal! You have a locker in here too, Detective Gumshoe? Haha, <laughs> of course! I am a detective after all. They gave me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open? This place is more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed, so only one detective can open it. Using this ID card? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm on my third card since entering the force already. That sounds like a lot. Yes, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? Oh! You mean your fingerprint? Exactly, pal! The lock for each locker is coded with a fingerprint. And that's the only locker we can open. Funny. They look like normal lockers. These are the latest model! There's a trick to the handles, see? The handles? On the other side of the handles is a sensor. And if the wrong person touches it... ZAP! You get a shock! If that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There's even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Evidence locker added to the court record. And that'll be important, I'm sure. How's Edgeworth? I'll always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens! So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the Inquiry Committee now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess-up in court today. Uh... I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case. The SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. Man, yeah, it's like DL6 all over again. Yeah, no kidding. Detective, here's my attorney's badge. You show that to me every time we meet, pal. Real men show their police badge. Nuff said. I wish I had a badge. Even an ID card would be nice. Oh, I think we've seen that before. Yes, we have. 
Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? What would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do- Oh wait, we've seen this as well. Whoops. <laughs> Why isn't it letting you skip it though? That's interesting. I guess because it's a different location or something? I don't know. Victim's note! Let's do the Switchboy knife. Detective Goodman's note, and that Switchboy knife. I bet Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone. Because of the SL9 connection? That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But why would evidence from that case turn uh, up now? I what? bet he probably, like, forged evidence and then, like, that caused... Um, the detectives to get, like... That's probably why the lunchbox lady, what's-her-face, is like, Angel I Star. hate... Where she's like, I hate prosecutors, probably because of him. Because, so you case. think Edgeworth forged evidence and that caused her to get fired and Marshall to get demoted? Well, he forged evidence, so she didn't have enough evidence, so she had to forge it as well, and then she was the only one who got caught. I don't know, maybe. Okay, interesting. I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. Indeed. ID card record. Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumors. So it was Goodman who came in here at the time of the murder. Whoa! What is it? The, 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 that second number! It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Mr. Edgeworth! He's seven sevens? What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth! Wh what? ID card record updated in the court record. Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Uh, let's see. No, that's the second no, one. No, okay, that's the second one. Seven, 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 seven. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Edgeworth wouldn't be lucky enough to get that first number. <laughs> Who's lucky? You can't open the lockers if your fingerprint doesn't match. Uh, I wouldn't know. If you could open it, they'll give you 50 cents. No, the police department lacks faith in its lock system. After all, Detective Goodman was stabbed here after opening his locker. But at the same time, he was found dead over at the prosecutor's office. I think they have the time wrong. Maybe. For this one. I think he- I still think he got killed here and then someone threw him in at Mr. Edgeworth's car. Cause he oh. came- cause he came here apparently to get evidence out of the evidence room. Okay. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder? A serial killing. Oh. A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake, and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight, and started the rumor mill. Rumors about forged evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transferal the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? So... so... that switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself? That's weird. Let's take a look around. That's the door we just came through. Looks like you don't need an ID card to get out. I wonder what would happen if Officer Marshall cut the power while we were still inside. Let's hope he remembers we're in here. Wow! Look at this big pile of junk in the corner! That looks like a car door. There's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. Maybe the guy they caught was some sort of escape artist and he got away. Hey, that's one of those human profiles for range testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better him than us! Weird. There's something sticking out of here. Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence for some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this here. There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of slob. <laughs> I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet that evidence locker was opened recently. How do you know? If you leave fiends hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? So 
sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot, too. I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat, either. If you're going to talk about someone's behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of them, pal! <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. This place is stuffed with evidence. Stuffed with dreams. I'm not so sure about the dreams. Hmm. It won't open! I guess I sh should have known. Hey, pal, our security is high-tech around here! I can't believe she didn't get zapped. <laughs> it does not actually electric. <laughs> oh. Some sort of bulky equipment is gathering dust here. What a sorry-looking fishing pole that is. Ah, this is my personal pole! Oh, I boy. never did get around to using it. Wait, I've seen that somewhere before. Right, pal, that's the metal detector! The one that led to the solving of that case out on Gord Lake, remember? All right! Wow, that feels like it was ages ago. And... Hmm, I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that! That's a radio locator! I'm sure it will come in handy in solving some case sooner or later. That cheap looking box? You can't judge a person on an ore machine by their cover! You gotta look at their heart! <laughs> Remember that, that's gonna come back. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, hang on. Near. Uh... Second half. Oh, whoa. That's weird. W what's this? Blood? It's a little worn, but that's de there's definitely a handprint here. It looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright! What if there are some other blood stains left in the room? We should use our testing fluid to check it out. What, a saw what is a saw and paint doing here? Since the dawn of time, true art has always been a war against op oppression. What? True art? I noticed that there's blue and yellow paint here. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the Blue Badger? Well, you might say this is my studio. Here? In the evidence room? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Just a bit. This place is stuck oh, with evidence. Blah, 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 blah. Darn it. Let's spray it. Look! This one's open! And there's an indicator... Er, in, indicator? Yeah, indicator tag stuck on it still. That locker is coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker? Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. It's empty. They must have taken the contents elsewhere. Someone left a glove here, but only one. Detective Gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. That's evidence from THE case, you know. You mean SL9? It does have a tag on it. Oh. Rubber glove added to the court record. I thought the chief prosecutor wore gloves. She did. Maybe that's it then. Wow! Someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal! Making me out to be some kind of hooligan. That's apparently from THE case. THE case? The SL9 incident, pal. See the sticker on one of the pieces there? Another piece of SL9 evidence? Check it out closer. Look for other evidence. Check it out closer. <laughs> Maybe we'll trigger funny dialogue. Let's not waste too much time with this now. We can check it out later. Oh, that was worth seeing. Not. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You want to try to put it back together? Ha! Good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Why, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. So this is kind of an interesting little puzzle. We've got, we got a bunch of pieces suck. here. And oh. we can put them back together. It's kind of cool. It's light gray on the bottom, so that's nice. Nope. I do like the little puzzles in this game like this. They there are fun. Go. They are fun. Oh wow. Oh, 
Okay, we're making some good progress. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Uh... There Here we, we go. go. Yeah. Oh, come on, game. Yeah, it's that one. <laughs> Gumshoe, you really couldn't solve this? Man, this Gumshoe isn't that bad. suck. <laughs> poor Gumshoe. Not poor Gumshoe, he's fine. <laughs> poor game that's lagging to death. Oh, there's just an empty hole. Yep. H huh? Well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. That only took me two minutes to do. The problem is finishing it. Okay, good. He's not that dumb. <laughs> were some pieces stolen? I bet they were went missing to begin with. Still, it does look like the most... It doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I kind of understand how it got broken. Unstable jar added to the court record. Alright. Let's check, uh, lumen all this place up. Alright. Well, let's start with the obvious one. I knew it! This is someone's right handprint. What? What's the matter, detective? The, this locker! It's mine! It's yours? Please! You have to help me when they come to take me away! I promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly! What? You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jot it down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys! Believe me, you can't trust the police! What? But you're a detective! <laughs> That's funny right there. <laughs> now, I wanna spray. Oh, wow, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> oh my, yeah. There must have been a massive amount of blood here. I've never seen so much before. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, Detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective Goodman was actually an alien. This proves that something really happened in front of the locker. I'll make a note of it on the floor plans. Hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, you do realize it's not actually blue blood, right? Oh. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled out the door. This just might be something significant. Hey! That's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal! What, this? It's called luminol testing fluid. Where did you get your hands on that? Huh? I'd like to get some too! I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief! Where, you... <laughs> where, oh. where did you get this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. Well, I'd better jot this down on the floor plans. Hey, pal, look at the time! Was there something you needed to be going to? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm going to give them my report for the day. It might help, you know. B report You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about! I'm sure he can use a report like this! I believe in him! Who needs enemies when you've got friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off, pal! Later! I should probably see what Edgeworth has to say, too. Let's go to his house. <laughs> you mean office. Or not his house. <laughs> Edgeworth, we're Edgeworth coming would, to your house. Edgeworth would lose it if we went to his house. If we found his house, that'd be amazing. <laughs> February 23rd, High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. Oh my gosh! Ah, oh, guests, my apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. Did he, like, race his <laughs> mind or something? <laughs> Is Edgeworth here? There, standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. Hello, Edgeworth. Ah, oh, it's you. He has the hotel bring him tea service? <laughs> 
Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? Precisely. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was- oh, whoops. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Oh yes. He brought me some information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. <laughs> I think he was trying to console me somehow. Uh, I think the report is on the other side, Edgeworth. <laughs> also- Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. Also remember the French restaurant on the flyer. That also might return. <laughs> oh boy. This has a lot of flashbacks to other cases, because this was made after the first trilogy. So, how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they've decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes. Apparently, there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them all say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. So, how you feeling, bud? Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. However, something happened. They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department? Or the police department! <laughs> <laughs> yes, any further investigation for this case will be directed by the Chief of Police, Gant. Great. I can do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, I ask you, why? All along I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still, wow, I've never seen him this out of sorts. Hey, let's let's show him the knife. I don't know. <laughs> maybe you'll knife. feel better. Maybe you'll feel better if you look at your trophy. I know you. You've probably got a hold on some information already, right? It all has to do with that case you were on, the SL9 incident. And some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in? You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life, as I recall. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. Bad memory. He's talking about the murder in the elevator. Okay, Edgeworth, why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Let's go get some coffee. Maybe <laughs> chat. Edgeworth is a tea man. Well, yeah. Phoenix can get his coffee. Edgeworth can get the tea. The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time, Damon Gant. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago too then. He was the best we had, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? What I want to know is why he was a deputy chief of police on the investigation. In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict, and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't. Of course not! I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code, and I follow it faithfully. Okay, Edgeworth. Is that so? <laughs> right, please. I'm the prosecutor on this case. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss the case with you over a cup of tea. Actually, I was. I'll pass on the tea, just tell me about the case. Mr. Wright! Mr. Edgeworth just told you no in the very polite manner! Whose side are you on, anyway? <laughs> Maybe if I just show him my best evidence, I can get some reaction out of him. Uh, what's our best... Unstable jar. No. Oh yeah, his, uh, his, his ID record. card is on you. Alright, I'd better check this now. As I was saying, I... What's this? A record of ID card usage? Edgeworth, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. W why Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that! I was asked to go. By Chief Gat, no less. Great. The Chief of Police? He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. What? He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. Uh, why a drill? But it was solved, right? It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. Sure. 
Now I'm curious about this other case. I'd better make a note of it. Unrelated evidence. Screwdriver added to the court record. Stubborn as always! I told you this has nothing to do with the current, current case. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. My sister? What? You still working on that scientific investigation? Huh? Y yes, of course! Why, just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this- In your office! <laughs> Luminol testing fluid? Hmm? Well then, you might have use for this. Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints? It's been chemically treated for better adhesion. For me? Are you sure? We- the enemy, you know. I've no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really... no need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. I, uh... thanks! How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? Fingerprinting set and fingerprint file received. I am getting very nervous now about him. About Edgeworth? Yeah, he's being too nice, man. <laughs> well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. To the evidence room! It'll be like, sorry Bambina, it's closed. <laughs> we have a special ID card that lets us in any time of the day. No, but th this is the dumbness of it. <laughs> He'll be like, sorry, I have to go get a steak for my babe. He's not even here. Oh, that's weird. From his Madonna. February 23rd, not be in here, evidence like, room, to scrub sector off free. Blood stains. <laughs> Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Here, in this blood on the detective's evidence door. I can't speak, apparently. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. There's two fingerprints. Wait, let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? All the way to the left. Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that will have left behind the clearest print. Oh, never mind, let's pick the thumb. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Or, quit, pro quit procrastinating and choose a finger! Yeah, but see, there's like the two below that? Good eye. But let's try the thumb first. Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First, we sprinkle the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do we do that? Just touch the screen. See? Ah! It looks like that did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. Huh? How do I do that? You just blow! With your breath! Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. See? Wow! That looks like fun! I might take some- you might take some getting used to, though. It's fine. I won't go up- it won't go up your nose or anything. You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. I guess I'd better give it a try. Yes. How do we blow? Uh, I've got a map to a hotkey. Oh, okay. So yeah, you just spread it on thick. This works really nice on the DS. Then once it's on thick, we blow! Ah, oh, you did it! You found one! But, this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm, now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of like. Luck. Like? Wow. <laughs> we're out of like? I can't talk, I told you. Out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here! Hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But, it does seem a shame. While we're at it, why don't we look for the other prints? Other prints? Looking at the locker door again closely... <laughs> it seems like there are fingerprints outside of the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Hmm, fingerprints outside the blood. <laughs> yeah, you had a good eye. <laughs> yeah, so we actually do the fingerprinting kind of a lot. I did not know that. It's really only in this case, though, because this is the only one that was made specifically for the DS, and it wouldn't have worked well on the GBA. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Yay! A print so clear it's dazzling! D dazzling Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's 
let's match it up right away. So we're not done yet? This is quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint da data we got from Mr. Edgeworth. And point out the person you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to know who it was? I can make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So whose fingerprints would most likely be found on this evidence locker? Yeah, so now we get like a list of people, we can go through them and see their prints. So okay. we basically look at these and then compare it to the one on the top. Okay. Okay. Not quite. That looks like Dick Gumshoe. This is a cool process. Match found. Aha! So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess that's probably because I was thinking, so what? Okay, so we came with nothing this or we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. Sorry, Bambina, I wiped it away. Well, I mean, we only found it on the luminol uh, reaction. Somebody already did wipe it away. This is where we got a luminol fluid reaction, right? Right. There was a handprint here. Okay. Want to try using this? There go her eyes sparkling again. Check for prints, leave it be. <laughs> Obviously check, we need to leave it be. Actually, let's not check. What? Why not? Try my patience any longer and I'll dump this powder over your head. Hmm, maybe I better check for those prints after all. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. Wow, Emma. Okay, let's check for prints. That's the spirit. Oh, but I have to warn you about something first. What? The area with the blood was wiped away, right? We, we only ended up finding it using with chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. Wouldn't you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? D don't ask me! Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Well, I mean, only three fingers are actually bloody and wiped off, so maybe there's... Oh, yep. Examine right here. That's where the index finger would be. Wow. Spread that powder! Or maybe it's the ring finger. Yeah, because that's the thumb. So this is the ring finger. <gasps> oh, that wasn't enough. We had to shift a layer on more. Okay. How is that any different than what we had before? Okay. No. Gant, no. No. Weakens, no. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Sorry, I, I uh, <laughs> cut my finger when I was trying to shave myself, and then I placed it on the lock. That's a freaking ton of blood to cut yourself while shaving. That's like slicing yourself open while shaving. Hey, these fingerprints, they... Whose are they? Whose? Is it someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Officer Jake Marshall? Marshall's fingerprints added to the court record. Th that's gotta be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma, these are decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. The luminol reaction, the blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh... Oh! So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a wiped blood stain. He's like, sorry, Bambina. But why would Officer Marshall. It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. I. I don't believe it. 
to be continued. That's it? Yep. That wasn't that interesting. We could have finished it the other time. That still doesn't this is okay. over a half hour no, episode. That still does not prove anything. Let's be... Okay? That doesn't prove anything. Okay, he, the he handprint like... was like this. Or, no, it was like this, because it was yeah. the left hand. Okay. These free fingers all were bloody, and it got wiped away, but this print was not. Meaning, basically, the whole handprint was there, and then they only wiped off the bloody part. Okay. So that definitely was his bloody handprint. Sure, I'm, I'm not saying it wasn't. I'm saying I don't think that necessarily means, like, oh, he did it. <laughs> that was a lot of blood on his hand. True. <laughs> I still hold that, like, maybe... Unless he, he had a nosebleed or something. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. It had, like, like one of my like violently it. explosive nosebleeds. Yep. Anyways, that's all for today. Tune in next time. We're going to court again, and... That should be fairly interesting. Have All a great right. day, and God bless.